Broadcasting live from the Vegas Video Network studios, just steps from the Las Vegas Strip, it's Talk Tales! And now our host, she's our very own kaleidoscope of talent! What? It's Kelly Clinton! Welcome to Talk Tales on the Vegas Video Network. I am your host. My name is Kelly Clinton. Oh, thank you. Hyphen Holmes. My husband's here, so you know, uh, when you get married and you're an independent woman, sometimes you are looking so forward to adding that name on. You're so proud, but not quite ready to give up your old name. So you add it on and you live happily ever after. I just want to tell you how excited I am that you're here because this is my very first time hosting Talk Tales. It's my first day on the job. And I have such an exciting guest for you. This gentleman has been in the music industry for many, many years with a top recording performing group. Uh, so many hits on top of the charts for decades. Um, they've won six Grammys. They won seven American Music Awards, and um, he's sitting right here in the studio waiting to go on. His name is Merrill Knight, but the world knows him as the most famous pip in the world, Mr. Bubba Knight from Gladys Knight. And <laughs> whoa, whoa, you got to let me go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we go to Bubba, we are going to meet uh, some, a special gentleman who's here. There is a new feature here on Talk Tales. We have brought the music, ladies and gentlemen, the live music right here in the studio. Please say hello to our Talk Tales Orchestra, Mr. Kenny Davidson. Yeah. I know that song. Thank you, Kenny. He sounds like 40 people or four people. It's great. <laughs> Before we go to the next segment, I, I want to I wanna say hello to you in a special way. I want you to get to know me a little bit better. I am, I'm an entertainer, and uh, I, I live here in Las Vegas. I've been here since the 1900s, and, <laughs> and uh, I, I, tr I just recently came back from New York. I had the opportunity to do my one-woman show at the Metropolitan Room in, in New York City, and I just got back, and boy, are my arms tired. Scott Whitney, <laughs> say hello to Scott Whitney, our producer, our founder yeah, of, it's, of it's, the Vegas Video <laughs> Network. There he is. Hello, Scott. I must say, the most handsome crowd we've ever had here. We got a huge, we have a huge crowd in the, in the studio, live audience. Thank you so much for coming. It makes it, yeah, it makes it, yeah. So much more exciting. Hey, Scott. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I, I took my show to New York, and it, it's called Freckles and 80-Year-Old Bones. And, um, Can I already make a comment on that? Oh, sure. Go ahead. So freckles, I get it, but 80-Year-Old Bones, I don't get. Well, I don't understand. What don't you get? You are, you're what? You're, I, I'm don't gonna, even go no, there. No, no, are you serious? No, look, I, look, I've been married for 18 years. <laughs> Not in a row, <laughs> but I learned that uh, this is all about saying nice things, so I'm guessing you're probably, what, mid-twenties? There you go. Did I mention that I love Scott Whitney, hey, the founder of Vegas Video Network? No, it's true. I am not 80, but my x-rays say different. Uh, <laughs> stay tuned on Talk Tales for more about my crazy story. Uh, I just got back into town after that exciting trip, and the Sterling Club at Turnberry Place, where I've been for the last eight years, closed. Mm. So it's kind of a bittersweet uh, return. And then, uh, first of all, we had so many exciting times there and special games guest and I'm gonna miss all of you at the Sterling Club um, but I'm on to this new adventure on can I, can hosting I talk about yes? the club? one thing about the Sterling Club do you think it'll come back you know what I have no doubt that it'll be back and I hope that I am asked to be a part of it because I, I, I it feels like family and we had so many musical uh, wonderful happy times there and uh, I'd love to come back but when we come back after this short break we're gonna have the most famous Pip of all, we're going to get pipified with Bubba Knight on Talk Tales. You know, one of the things I like best about the Vegas Video Network are the people. 
There are no divas here. Everyone is exactly the same off camera as they are on. Hey guys, what's uh, Cocktail of the Week this week? You know what? I'll let you know what it is when it's time for you to know what it is. Why don't you get off the stage and get back in your production hole? Oh my god. You know what? And tell Cheap Ass Whitney to get us some decent brand liquor. This hobo off wrap crap ain't cutting it. God, idiots. Totally. Welcome back to Talk Tales. I am your host, Kelly Clinton. And I can hardly contain myself right now. Look. <laughs> I've, oh, I've been waiting for this day. I'm so excited. Our first guest on my first show is uh, such a talented man, such a great singer, dancer, artist, getting ready to branch out on his own a little bit. Please say hello to Bubba Knight from Gladys Knight and the Pip. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Bubba. Hey, Kelly. Welcome to Talk Tales. Thank you so much. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you for saying yes. Oh, my goodness. You know, Kelly, <laughs> I have a special place in my heart for you. You do? Yes, I do. You do? I turned down going to Dancing with the Stars this evening to, come to do your show because I love you that much. Oh, my goodness. I'm Thank serious. you, huh, Bubba. Huh, I'm serious. Wow. Yeah. You did. You said, I'm, yeah. I'm going to stay back and do your show. Thank you. Yeah, I told Gladys. I said, hey, you might have to stand <laughs> on your own two feet on this one. <laughs> Hey, Bubba. I got to go, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you didn't say that to her, did you? <laughs> well, some, something like that. Kind of yeah, like yeah, that. Kind of. <laughs> no, now, but actually, I told her I was going to do your, your TV show. You did? And she said, man, do it. How nice. Please. I'm because, such a big fan. Yeah, she has so much, uh, so many members of the family that's in Los Angeles for the finals tonight. So she's got the support. Yeah, she's had, she has the support. So Thank you so I'm much gonna, for staying back for this. Oh, Thank my you. pleasure. My, it's so special. I'll never forget this. Now, you talking about Gladys and, and, and your cousins and your family. Yeah. Uh, it started a long time ago. The, the way the group came together, it started. What, tell me about the, the Wings of Jordan. Oh, my mom was in the Wings yeah. Over Jordan Choir. Yes. Uh, but but that had nothing nothing that had to do nothing with me. Nothing to do with you. No, I I, I wasn't even born yet when That's she was doing that. But you came so, from a musical family. Yes, Your I did. Your parents were were singers. Yeah, my 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 dad uh, was a singer in the choir, and I remember my dad's favorite song in the choir. He, he was a bass. He said, "Now let us sing, <laughs> sing to the power of the Lord, come down." Woo! You know, and I'm going like, you go, Dad. <laughs> and I think I may want to do that. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So I anyway, we, we, would sing, we would sing in the choir on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, Gladys, my older sister, Brenda, uh -huh. and my cousins, Eleanor and William Guest. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that was the first uh, original Gladys Knight and the Pips group. And weren't you all called Pips first? Oh. It wasn't last night in the pips at first, right? Kelly, you did your homework. I did my homework. Oh, you did your homework. See? Just the pips. And guess what? The pips. What? The ladies in the group outnumbered the men. <laughs> there were only two of us, and we were outnumbered by my older sister, Brenda, uh -huh. and my younger sister, Gladys, and my, my cousin, Eleanor Guest. So there were okay. three girl pips and two boy pips. So the moral of the story is you can be female and be a pip. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's no prejudice against No, no, hood. not at all. No pip yeah, prejudice. You, yeah, you can be yeah. pipped. <laughs> <laughs> well, on my first show. <laughs> woo! <laughs> woo! 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 <laughs> okay, so, the, so you, you perform yeah. in church, but then you would do you, some kind of nightclub kind of work, supper club work? Yes, we, we, we would sing in church on, on Sunday, and we, Kelly, we got a lot of flack for this. We would sing in church on Sunday, and at night, we would go and sing in the nightclub. Mm -hmm. They would sneak us into the nightclubs because we were too young. Really young? Be, How yeah, old were you? Yeah, yeah. We, we were like 10, 12, wow. 13. We started, wow. we started when we were really, really yes. young. Yes. But we were, we were famous around Atlanta, uh -huh. right? So what we would do is they would have us to sit in the car while the show was going on, uh -huh. and they would sneak us up the back steps, and we would go and perform, and then we would have to go back out the back door and sit in the car to the second show. Wow, that was, that, did they give you any food or something to drink while you're out there? Or just said, hold it, kid. 
Kelly. Just sit in the car, roll down the window or not. Kelly, that was before McDonald's and all of, nothing. So you really grew up yeah. j as a professional right yeah. away from the beginning. Did yeah. you all, this is something I've always wanted to know. When you first started, mm -hmm. did you each get to, to sing solo up front? Or, or was it kind of a lead singer and then everyone did the harmonies? No, that's a good support? question. Okay, that's a very you. good question. But we all, uh, we all sung, uh -huh. lead, and we took turns doing the lead vocals. But uh, Gladys kind of beat all of us out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going like, <clears throat> uh, and you? Because I used to, uh, hey, Kelly, I used to do, uh, uh, I used to do James Brown when I was little. You, oh, know? you did? Yeah, yeah. That was my. That, that doesn't was surprise me now, but that then was, you did it. Yeah, that was the song that I did. And, and they were, when when Jane, when uh, when my song was on the list, I would be so excited. Oh yeah, you'd be like, I'm and, coming up, I'm coming yeah, up. Yeah, I come, I'm coming. I'm trying and, to and, shine. And, and and I remember, I didn't say the word please. I would say please, 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 <laughs> please, baby, please. Oh man. Oh that my goodness. That was a goodness. good time though. That was a, so so you're we've just found out that Bubba is younger than James Brown, that's for sure. Yeah. And we're going to find out more. We're going to get some, get to the inside of of growing up in a musical family and having records all over the charts and and being in the music business at the best time. We'll we'll get more information from Bubba Knight when we come back right after this on Talk Tales. Oh, Traditional yeah. media believes that after about three minutes, you'll tune out. Most Vegas media companies think if it doesn't jiggle, you won't tune in. At the Vegas Video Network, we think both are wrong. The Vegas Video Network is the first and only live online broadcast network that specializes in insider news and expert views about Vegas. We combine great storytelling with the ability to watch when and where you want on your computer, mobile device, or television. Discover the real Las Vegas. Visit VegasVideoNetwork.com. Welcome back to Talk Tales. Hey, if you want to contact us, you can email us, talktales at vegasvideo.com. You can even leave us a voicemail and we might play it on the air. Just go on the site, follow the instructions, and press record. Hey, you know what? You can actually talk to us right now. Join us on live chat. If you don't get to watch us in the moment while the show's on, you can find us on iTunes, uh, YouTube, Roku, and every Saturday at 12 noon on KSHP 1400 AM. Now, more Bubba Knight. Back to the stories, Bubba. <laughs> tell me about James Brown. You got a story. Yeah, we, we were on tour with James, right? And, and, and you, you came to my uh, Las Vegas Follies show. You yes, I did, yes. Now check it out. I did something, I said, hey, band, and James said, <laughs> wait a minute, I said, hey, band, and ja the band said, what, where's, ja where's James somebody? is in your band. Okay, now James you guys, when band. I say, hey, band, y'all say what, all right? all right? Hey, band, what? Listen, hit me one time, <laughs> bam, hit me two times, <laughs> bam, bam. Okay, and I heard somebody in the audience, audience say, hey, that was Earl Turner. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I'm going like, oh. wait, wait a minute. And I just want to, I, I just want to publicly correct this person. Yeah, look into the camera. I Tell did, him. I did not Tell steal him. that from Earl Turner, although I saw him a couple of nights ago. Mm, I did not steal that from <laughs> Earl Turner. Uh. I stole it from James Brown himself. Let's hear it for James. Yeah. That's right. You know what? And you want to know something? Yeah, tell us. That's where Earl got it from. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is where the, the guest tells you, yeah. no. That's right. No, no, no. No, no. You know what? We have a guest on the live chat right now. They have a question. What, what do we have, Scott? Who is it? Well, Lisa G wants to know, who has been some of Bubba's favorite musical artists over the years, either on TV or concerts or anything like that? You know what, Lisa, that's a great question, and I was actually going to ask you that, because you've worked with everyone in the music industry. Yeah. So um, who are some of the people that you admired? Jackie Wilson. Jackie Wilson. James Brown, needless mm -hmm. to say. Uh, Jackie Wilson was a personal friend of ours. I remember one story that uh, uh, what Jackie did when we first played Atlanta at, the Her at Herndon Stadium. We won the Supersonic Attraction Tour with them, okay. with Jacka Wilson, Sam Cooke, 
Wow. James Brown, Otis Redding, all Man. of them, right? We were on that tour. And when we went to Atlanta, Jackie pulled us in the dressing room. He said, now, you're playing your hometown, and that's one of the hardest places to play, yeah. you know, to please your people here. Yeah. And so he said, I, I, want you, I want you guys to do something special. We had an old Nash Rambler that we used to travel in. Uh -huh. Jackie had a Cadillac. <laughs> Frazier was his chauffeur. <laughs> he had valets. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know what I'm saying? The gam And so he told us, he said, this is what I want you to do to make an impression here at home. I want Frazier to drive you guys out in my Cadillac on the football field. And, uh -huh. and you wait till a certain cue in your music, and, and you guys pop those doors and come out of that car at the, at the same time, right? Wow. So we did that, and the crowd killed it. The crowd went like, yeah! I mean, they were just screaming and everything, you know what I mean? That? Like that was our car. He took you under his you wing. Know what I mean? He did. He yeah, wanted yeah. you to, to shine. I'll never forget Jack Wilson for, for that. You How know, wonderful. And is he that? was so supportive of. It. And you know what? A lot of Jack Wilson's um, moves mm -hmm. and the way he uh, could capture an audience. Uh huh. The only thing that I was a little bit disturbed about <laughs> was he would kiss everybody. Ah. Oh. In uh, the mouth. Ew. Come on, kill it. I'm going like jacket. Jacket. Ew. Ew. You were, he didn't know you were so concerned about I'm his health. I'm concerned about him. I don't blame you. You know, I'm going you, like jacket. You have to jacket. kiss all of them. Man, and they didn't have that antibacterial no, soap that. or anything you know back saying? then. See, now where do you get these stories? Well, these ladies. I mean, nobody has these I, stories. They love Jacket Wilson. You hear me? Nick, you're talking about the moves and the way he moved. Oh, yeah. Dun, you can't dun, dun, talk to, yeah. I can't talk to Bubba Knight without Ooh. asking about the choreography uh -huh. uh, that you did with the Pips. Oh, yeah. Where did it come from? Did, and then eventually did you just find your own way with it? Or did you have a choreographer in the beginning? Uh, we didn't have a choreographer in the beginning. We would make up our choreography ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then uh, later on, uh, Marguerite Mays introduced us to Charlie Atkins. Hmm. who became our primary choreographer. He, he choreographed all of our songs except for, I heard, I mean, uh, Midnight Train to Georgia. All of your songs except for that? That's like it, five it, million songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, he was busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, you're, and Midnight Train to Georgia, the only reason he didn't choreograph that one is because we were going on a, a TV show and we had to have it ready that yeah. next day. And he was... He wasn't in town. So I choreographed Midnight Train to Georgia. So that's my little. Did you do the <laughs> On behalf of everyone in the world, thank you for that, Bubba <laughs> Knight. <laughs> it never fails, no matter where we are, because every now and then I, I and, I, and but when we come back, I'm going to ask Bubba about Midnight Train to Georgia, because that wasn't the original title of the song. That's what I found out. I want to talk to him about that and also about Bubba Night 2012. He's got some things coming up. He's branching out and I don't want to miss any of them and you shouldn't either. So while you're on, uh, watching the commercial, I'm going to get pipified. I'm going to get some of this down and perhaps <laughs> knock over a few cameras. And, okay, we'll be right back on Talk Tales. That's right. <laughs> this is David Ivey for Bub Crawl. It's funny because this is David. From, you should, you should, no, you should just leave it on. Hi, I'm David Ivy from Pub Crawl, and you're watching the Vegas Video Network. And scene. Welcome back to Talk Tales. Oh, I know that song. Midnight Train to Georgia. Oh. Hey, Bubba. Yeah. Hey, Bubba. What? Midnight Train to Georgia was not called Midnight Train to Georgia, was it, in the beginning? No, it wasn't. What was it called? Midnight Plane to Houston. Okay. <laughs> How would that go? Just give me a little, gonna ball, gonna ball, gonna ball. The Midnight Plane, plane to Houston. To Houston. <laughs> I don't know if yeah, it would have feel right, you know what I'm saying? No, I mean, Houston is lovely and everything. Yeah. It just, <laughs> you know, that, that, uh, they sent us, they sent, uh, let me see. Jim Weatherly. Jim Weatherly the writer. wrote the song. Yeah, he wrote the song. And his publishing company sent us the song to, uh, to try to, you know, record it if we liked it that well. So, 
anyway, when they sent it to us, uh, we I think I think Ray Charles had out Georgia on my mind at right. the time, and we're from Atlanta, Georgia. So we're going like, yeah. wait a minute, why are we talking about Houston? Yeah, right. Can we play? Can we yeah. name the song Midnight Train to Georgia? And what did and, he say? And Gladys called Jim. And he said, you know what, if you guys record my song, you can name it anything you want to. Yeah. Yeah, so oh Jim, was, Jim was right behind. He was, he was okay with it. That is so interesting. And, because and, I don't think people know that, Bob. I really yeah. don't think people know about that. They just, the song is loved so much. Mm -hmm. You can't get enough of it. It was recorded how many years ago? We don't have to say it if you don't want Oh, I, I don't know. What, what was like it? In, uh, in the, in the, the uh, 70s? Or 70s. In the 70s? 72, I think it was. Was it 72? Yeah, 71, 72, I think Midnight Train Well, George you can play out. that song right now, which everybody does. <laughs> and I don't get, you hear that. Da -da 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 and everybody just goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so, it's so great. You had so many yeah. phenomenal hit songs. Yeah, um, that was one of the first songs we produced, by the way. Oh, you produced that? Yeah, uh, uh, Gladys. Well, we produced it jointly. Right. And uh, Tony Camillo did the track. Uh -huh. And Tony Camillo sent us a track. This is an interesting story. He sent us a track that he had recorded in his garage studio. The track was like, oh, man. That's not good. So uh, Gladys called him on the phone and said, do it over. Ah. And she said, put some of that, put some of that, that air green flavor on Midnight Train mm. to Georgia. And that's what, what you just did is what he sent back to us. Yes. And we laid Thinking. our feeling and our background and all of that over it. And whoa, this is an interesting story. Kelly, we were doing Bubba. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check it out. <laughs> look, 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 look. Uh, uh, when we got to the we we got down to the end. We were at the fade, right? And Gladys was going leaving, leaving, leaving. I said, "There's no excitement right there, little sister. You had to make you had to make this fade exciting." And so she said, "What you want me to do, Bubba?" I said, "Okay." I punched the button. I said, "Say, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go." I love that part. I did too. I love that. That's you. Man, <laughs> the brains, the creativity sitting right here. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, we got to do another show because it's just not enough time for Bubba Night. Can we have a little bit of, can you sing something for us? We got, we got James Davis here, your guitar player. Oh, yeah. James can you sing James. a little something for us? Oh, sure. Uh, I was on a play called Smokey Joe's Cafe. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, thank Broadway you. show. Yeah, at Caesar Palace. And, and, and uh, we sung this song right here. It goes. Getting pipified. I should say bubbified. And I said, they said we are lots of friends on Broadway. <laughs> they say there's always magic in the air. Uh, on Broadway. <laughs> uh, when you're walking down the street and you ain't had enough to eat, the glitter glows right off and you're nowhere. Give me a little bit, Jane. Say that I won't last too long on Broadway. On Broadway. I'll take a great house, but they, they all say. On Broadway. Listen, but they're dead wrong, I know they are. Cause I can play a little guitar. And I won't quit till I'm a star. On Broadway. Oh, Bubba, 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 we want to know where you're going to be. You got to let us know so we can let the people know. You have been such a wonderful guest. Oh, a big God, round of applause you. for this legend in music. Peace and love. Thank you, James, for being here. Thank you, thank Kenny. You, thank you. This Kenny was Day. the greatest first show in the world. <laughs> you join us on the VegasVideoNetwork.com and tune in next time on Talk Tales. I'm Kelly Clinton. Thank you. More, more, more. You got a little bit more, ah. Bubba? Ah. Yeah. Great audience. Oh.
on like a on Broadway. Ooh, on Broadway. Hey, they say there's always magic in the air. In the air. On Broadway. On Broadway. How you gonna make some time mm. when you ain't got but one thin dime and one thin dime won't even shine your shoes. On Broadway. On Broadway. On Broadway. Yeah. On Broadway.